Alright guys, welcome back to Rage, and... Crap. What the hell was I doing? We're going to do the thing about the experiment and all Yeah, we're doing that stuff. Anyway, that was about right. It's about the action. The story's alright too. But, uh, yeah. From here on out, it's probably going to be a little harder because we're facing the Authority. And they're doing experiments on the mutants, so... Probably going to be some uh, mutated mutants. Why the hell did it send me? God, what the? Uh, yeah, driving isn't the greatest in this one, but uh, probably will be in the next one. Okay. Didn't realize I was gonna have to go uh, down in here. Dead City Central. Oh yeah, where we fought that uh, big giant ogre dude. Authority Research Facility. Oh no, I hear Authority, so they're still here. Alright, I hear mutants. Let's go ahead and check on what we have right now. We have the rocket launcher equipped. I don't know if I really need the rocket launcher equipped right now. So what I'll go ahead and do... Let's see, I got the AR. But we don't have much ammo for that right now, so... Well, we have 403 of the other rounds, so you know what, I'll keep that equipped. And I'm going to put the shotgun... ...right there. Was that authority MG round, so... Yeah, we got mutants, like I thought we would, while I had a shotgun out. The who? Mutants really seem to have messed up the authority. Is it in here? Oh, no. It's not. That's gross. Alright, so... Authority chasing some mutants. Yeah. What you see on the regular these days. Alright, we're hearing some of them, though. I saw Advance you. On target. Advance on target. Breach in containment area. Sound Point them. Yes, sir. They down there? Pull them out of there. Yes. Target acquired. Grenade out. Sure about that, buddy? I was gonna say, I'm not even sure how to get down there. Oh, shit. I don't know where he is. Where the hell are you? Oh, there he is. Throwing grenades at me. I don't know what an EMP would have done to me. Targets in the area. I can't, no visual. Grenade out. 
Ooh, drone collector car. So it does seem, even though we've been here before, there's uh, stuff we can now get that we couldn't before. God, where were those oh, cloth racks somewhere? Oh, we got plenty, but oh, here they are. There we go. Gauze sponges. Okay, so he's a different one. He's, oh, he's a shotgunner, okay. So the ones in the blue, they use shotguns. Good to know. I hear mutants. Got a sniper. So let's get ours out. There we go. Oh, shoot. There's another sniper. Oh, this is where we had the uh, rocket fight with the giant guy. Yep, there he is. Ooh. Here's where we got the rockets. They want to kill the mutants, that's fine. There he is. They didn't seem to be doing the best job at killing the mutants, so I had to take him out. I should probably try to use another gun just in case uh, I start really not being able to buy too much ammo anymore. Because the sniper seems so... just so good if you're really not into running out there and just trying to fight them all like that. What the hell? Ah, just in the place we've been previously. Okay. Except for the snipers, I will snipe them. I know there's one more. Oh, he got me. I guess they're bots. I will say the one thing I don't think we pick up randomly is sniper rounds, so that kind of sucks. All units advance. Got someone on turret, that's no good. Uh... 
Okay. I did not see that grenade. Oh, not too shabby. The only thing about using like the ARs and the Authority MGs and stuff versus the sniper rifle is they're so they take so long just to kill one person, and it's you know you're all over the place when you're kind of shooting because it's not too steady, whereas the sniper rifle is and it only takes two headshots or two body shots. They didn't hear me. Whoops, didn't mean to take out my fists. Oh, here he is. There we go, I meant to do the bandages. I've got nothing. Target at 12 o'clock. Oh. Find the data, alright. Let's see. I don't think there's anything down here, okay. Too bad for you guys, you put those in very bad spots. Did I search the other guy? I don't know. Let's see, going in there, that's again probably our exit. Research data. There we go. And I guess... Oh, okay, I got you. I thought we were going to be going in here. <laughs> got stuck. Where'd he go? I don't want to use a bandage right now. Oh, he's up there. Let's see where they are. Oh, okay. Dead city streets. Deliver the research data to Captain Marshall. Yeah, if we can get out of here. Thought that was a uh, place we can, like a secret place. Oh, 
Oh, hello. Oh, I can't believe that actually hit him. Alright, we got some guys that are pretty far away. Let's get up a little bit. There we go. Yeah, damn. See, that's what I'm talking about with the uh, sniper versus the AR. All right, I don't know where that dude went, but good riddance. This is just hiding. Target at 12 o'clock. Oh. Cover phone. Oh, hello. You had a shotgun, sir. You could have easily just... Bam. Oh, okay. Good to know that actually did work. Because to be honest, I didn't think it was going to. Where the hell? Oh, they see mutants. Okay. I'm gonna say, where the hell do you see me at? get down to you? That's the question. Guess I came from over there? I don't get why did I... It's gotta be over here. I, m I had to miss something. Sniper rifle. Twelve o'clock. Target neutralized. Unless I'm just supposed to wait right there. I don't know. There he is. Oh. Um. Or you could just look left. See, I think that's the kind of the thing with linear games, because I do count this as a linear game. Um, if the objective or whatever you're, where you're supposed to go isn't right in front of you, it's just like, oh, where do you go then? Whereas in an open world, uh, multiple quests, you know, like this, this mainly just has one main quest, a couple side, but they're not really too much. Um, I kind of expect the Ford to just tell you where to go. Oh, hello. This might be the time for old Snipey. Well, shot a dead guy. If these mutants just learned how to use a sniper rifle, they'd be good to go. Is this where I go? I guess so. God damn it, you guys throw a lot of grenades. Oh, 
this guy is special. Say even with these upgraded rounds, I'm having trouble with him. What the hell kind of gun did he have? Pull shot. Definitely wasn't a shotgun, I'll tell you that. And I only have 48 Feltrite rounds now, so... I think what I'm going to do... Where are they? There we go. This will be the AR to use now. Didn't find any um, special mutants. Whoops. I should be looking at something else. That's the thing with driving for me on games, I think. It's, well, especially on a game like this, and not just a straight driving game like uh, Forza and stuff. Which, uh, Forza's good, but uh, I like these kind of games. Well, this one's a little more linear, but I like the open type of game like, like this more, like Fallout and stuff. But driving in them, it's really hard for me not to just look at other stuff and be like, oh, can I go over there? Is there something worthwhile? You know. So I hit stuff a lot. Ah, uh, no need to repair. It is illegal and furthermore against better moral judgment to house, aid, or cooperate with any resistance movements or anti-authority organizations. Any failure to report... I'm gonna go sell whatever I can. Hello. It sucks that it's on the other side of the town. Mm -hmm. Care to browse my selections? I have all the best supplies. I do not. Eh, we don't need that anymore. And I gotta keep everything else, basically. Let's see. Can't get any of these things. Let's get some more sniper rounds. Good day to you. Actually, can we possibly just go over here and be a faster way? Uh, maybe. Maybe. You have made one great find. It shows us all about the authorities' deadly plans. Trust me, this is a major blow to them. And a great day for our cause. Elizabeth had a good feeling about you. I may have to agree with her. But now it's time to say your goodbyes. Elizabeth has gone on ahead to make preparations for our arrival. Don't worry about the stuff in your garage. It'll be waiting for you. But we need to leave soon ourselves. The price on your head will only increase if you stay here. This place just isn't safe for you. We've deployed a communications scrambler, which should help mask our exit. So if you're with us, then come back here when you wrap up any loose ends, and we'll leave together. So, you ready to leave? Subway token. Wellspring just isn't safe for you anymore. The communication scrambler should mask your exit. I've got a transport to take us to the Resistance Bay in Subway Town, deep below the ruins of Crescent City. Welcome to the front lines. 
travel destination. Are you sure you want to go to the mission area? Yes. Excellent. Let's go. Because the only other thing we had was the just camping mission. And I don't care. It's too tedious. I'm glad you decided to join us. We were probably just days away from the authority finding you. But you've heard the expression, out of the frying pan, well, welcome to the fire. Holy shit, look at all that felt right, man. I'm trying to think of when I actually stopped playing. This might have been it. Fighting the authority is all I know. I've been doing it ever since my arc emerged. And I saw what they were doing. Nothing like this was supposed to happen after the asteroid hit. For once, our government had a good plan and good people in place to make it happen. But General Cross changed the timing of only a few arcs. Arcs filled with his people. And that changed the course of humankind. Now, it's our job to make sure it isn't forever. So you only know, you're the only one that knows about this, right? There's Crescent City, or what's left of it. Our base sits right below it. Damn. Subway town. All right, come this way. I don't remember where I, s I really don't. Our base is just through that door. Oh, I gotta wait for your slow ass. Lassard, Marshal here. Security code 1228. Roger, Captain. Welcome back. I see you have our guest. This way. Welcome to our little home. It's a bit of a mess, but we like it. No, I remember this part, so I've been here. All right, people, a little introduction of our new guest. You know he's an ARC survivor. He's also pretty tough, gets the job done. I know he'll fit in well. In short, trust Thor him. Mutant. You see that ARC, all yeah. in pieces over there? It was the one I was buried in. But now Lassard uses it as the brains of our operation. Nice to meet you. Yes, sir. Captain Marshall was buried in that thing, but I've re-rigged the systems, and now I can track most authority movements and communicate with our people around the wasteland. Precisely. And Elizabeth, you know. Good to see you again. And still in one piece. Good to see you, Elizabeth. You were cool. Actually, it's Dr. Cadence. And she's been getting closer to solving the riddle of the authorities' work with the mutants. Every little step brings me closer to the truth. And Jack Bortman, over there, he handles ordnance. If it shoots or explodes, he can help you with it. That's right, friend. It's like my birthday every day around here. Especially when my work helps take out some of the authority bastards. And lastly, above us, keeping the lid tightly closed on our base of operations, is Saul. He runs the garage in town, and he's already got your stuff in a bay. You'll meet him when you go up. Okay, a couple things you need to know. Subway town above us? No, it isn't Wellspring. They walk a fine line, keeping the authority at bay and also dealing with us. You'll have to be careful there. And the town's boss, Redstone. Be extra careful around him. He'd sell you out to the authority in a heartbeat unless you're of use to him. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is get on Redstone's good side. See if he needs anything. Be of use to him. Otherwise, you're as good as dead. And then, you're useless to us. Think you'll be able to play his game? Alright, gaining influence. Find out what Redstone needs and do it. Otherwise, you're as good as dead. Uh, come back and see me once you've made friends with Redstone. Good. And remember, get a feel for how things work around here. Be useful to them. Then we can start moving on to the serious stuff. Okay, it's clear for you to go up. I've done a million of these types of missions. Elizabeth is our resident expert on the mutants. It would be wise for you to see her and learn as much about them as you can. Okay. Remember, to be of use to us, you must be able to move around freely. 
And the only way to do that is to gain Redstone's trust. You got anything to say? Blowing stuff up and hitting the authority where it hurts. That's my game. Now, if you're as good as Elizabeth says you are, then I do believe you and I will get along nicely. You got a cool tattoo of a tank on your chest. You gotta make good with Redstone okay. before we can start going after the authority. I've been working with some authority technology we found, and let me tell you, I think I've come up with something truly impressive. I found a way to engineer separate authority components together to create an object that, when you activate it, inflicts extra damage, though only for as long as the power supply lasts. The parts are hard to find, but it sure is effective. Here are the plans. I know you'll have fun with it. Oh, authority augment schematic. Ooh, let's see if we can make it. Uh, I was just saying about the collector cards. Oh, here it is. Authority augmenter increases the damage you inflict with all weapons for a limited time. Ingredient the nanotrite conduit. They can conduit between your nanotrites and your humanity. So it uses um the feltrite power pack coupler which we only have six of I don't know if we want to do it just yet right, let's go talk to Elizabeth oh I thought she was in here it's just this weird mutant Alright, so this is how we go up. Is Elizabeth not in here? Oh, she's right here. You have to know, the human mutations weren't caused by cosmic radiation from the asteroid hit. The mutants were created by the Authority experimenting with nanotrites and humans. The failures were rejected and discarded into the wasteland like trash left to reproduce and spread. That's the truth, and that's what people need to know. So, give me some time to analyze the data you recovered for us. I might be able to find something that could help you. Stop by later for an update. Okay, so a possible upgrade from Elizabeth later on, and now we know um, how the mutants were made, not by the asteroid, like you really would have you know, thought. The asteroid literally just killed off people. There was no extra thing to it. The authority made them. That's kind of interesting. I kind of like Fallout, really. So, you're the new team member. Well, welcome to Subway Town. I'm Saul. I run the garage here, but uh, more importantly, I'd drop that car lift if the authorities start stooping around. Uh, but first, a um, couple of things you need to know. Your garage bay is through that door. I'll do all your repairs here and tow you back if you ever get yourself in trouble. You can find the race manager downstairs, and the bar's on this level. And more importantly for you, Redstone's office is upstairs. Remember, nothing and no one moves around here without his okay. So, don't waste any time. Go and see him. Okay, we got a ticket there. Our garage there to leave. And so... Oh, I see that's how we get back down. Nice. You got a good thing going here. Oh yeah, I'm out of Subway Town. I get lost in here all the time. Good day. You new in town? I guess I should say welcome. Subway Town's got everything you need. Looking for a race? Head downstairs. Got extra stuff to sell? Then see Janny upstairs. I think you'll like it here. Alright, so if we want to race, we hey, can stranger. go. You looking to earn a little on the side? Hello. You seem like a prostitute. Alright, that's how we enter the wasteland. Just gonna get familiar with the town, Remus. If you're looking for supplies, see Janie upstairs. Brick Johnson, the guy that runs the bar, he's been having trouble with bandits stealing his liquor. He needs someone to take care of this problem. You should go see him. 
Maybe. I don't know how many side quests I want to do in, uh... What the hell? I was stuck in the hole. Alright, so there's upstairs. No drinking for anyone unless Redstone says you're okay. Now move along. When I hear word from Redstone that you're okay, okay I can't go in there I'll until we're good with Redstone. Haven't seen you before. A few words of advice. Don't mess with Redstone. And don't do anything to get the authorities' attention. That's trouble you don't want. Why are you wearing a mask and not... You're weird. Life's never been easy down here. We work hard every day, but between Redstone and the Authority, we barely make enough to survive. Something's gotta change. The people need a reason for hope. Yeah, I guess so. Everybody needs that. Alright, let's head upstairs then. Welcome to Subway Town. Yeah, we've got our own vibe here. Being so close to Capital Prime keeps everyone on edge, but we try to relax when we can. That's good. How about, uh, there's a, a mini game. We'll play for parts. Alright, we got the left side. Ooh. Secret place. Felt right. Night Blossom. Okay. Well, not, not too much, but... Worth it. Alright. Over right here, management key required, okay. Then we got over here. This is why uh, I didn't really. I don't really like Subway Town. I remember. Because I got oh. lost all the time. <laughs> well, hello, oh, there, you're Janie, cutie. Okay. Please tell me what I can do for you. I want the lollipop. Name's Janny. I buy, I sell, I try to make a little money. Helps me keep my head above water. I got your basic and primo supplies. You need it, I got it. And if I don't got it, you probably don't need it. <laughs> so, what you looking for? Uh, nothing really. I was just seeing what you got. I guess I'll sell whatever I can. Oh, and it's, that's nothing actually. So. Anytime you need something, come back and see me. Okay. She's nice, I guess. Here's Allison. You new here? Jenny's got decent supplies, but if you're looking for a real good deal, see Stu. He's always got something special for sale. Oh. Ah. Thank you. Where's Sue? I've got oh. an incredible deal for you. Hello, name's Stu. I often have a surplus of one thing or another, and I'm willing to sell for a fair price. Care to see what I've got? All you have are grenades. And I have 53 see grenades. Me often. You'll never know what I'll be selling. Alright. Nothing. Hey, pal. Don't waste the boss's time. Go see him. Hold it right there. You Marshall's new guy. Yep. And you got a big ass tattoo on your head. Okay. You're new. That means that you don't exactly know how things work around here. So let me make it clear to you. This is my place. My town. And every bastard here answers to me. What I want, they do. So if you can help me do things, then we'll be fine. If not, then I have no use for you. Got that. So Marshall says you're the type that can get things done. Let's give you a little test, huh? My foreman is having mutant problems at the end of the blue line tunnel. The things keep crawling back in. So go help him out. Think you can handle this? Foreman Jones, this is my place, my town, and what bastard here answers to every bastard here answers me what I want, they do. So Marshall says you're the type of guy that gets things done, blah blah. Come back when you've taken care of Foreman Jones' problem. Good. Just prove yourself useful to me, and then I'll let you stay. Now, show me what you can do. 
Then get the hell out of here. All right, but first I got this Blake bobblehead. I don't know who Blake is. That was weird. All right, so we've met everybody. See Brick at the Fez bar in Subway Town about a job offer. All right, in the bar. Oh wait, that was up here. That's Jenny. Here's Stu. That's the locked place. See? I get turned around so easily. Here it is. Redstone gave you a job. Stop wasting time. I don't like that guy. Oh, wait. <laughs> I guess the bar is downstairs. Here it is. Hey you. Word around town is that Marshall's back with the new trigger man. Some say an arc survivor and some say that's you. Well, I guess we'll just have to see. I guess so. So you Jones has his people working, but no other crews. Well, with the mutant problem he's got, there ain't anything else he can do. Yeah, but it's still I don't sucks. want to play your finger game. Damn, bandits causing trouble with my liquor suppliers. Making it difficult to get the good stuff down here. I would pay handsomely if you took to the roads and kill a few of those bandits. You take out an authority predator, and that'll count as two. Can you handle that? Alright, Brick's Bounty. I got shipments coming and I don't want trouble on the roads. For every enemy vehicle you take out, I'll dish out some cash and a race certificate. Alright. Well, alrighty then. Go kick some ass. Alright, take out bandit vehicles for Brick. Hello there, stranger. I've got the best deck of cards in the wasteland. Care to challenge me? I don't think mine's very good right now, so later. Alright, so we now have our first thing to do at Subway Town. So we come back. I guess that's what we'll do. I think the, uh... Oh, no, wait. The, um... Yeah, here's the garage. Well, we have to take out vehicles. I don't know, whatever. Um, but when we come back, we're gonna be doing this. Uh, why is our vehicle on? Oh, it's almost dead. Uh, when we come back, we're gonna be doing that mission. We're gonna go ahead and see if we can grab some, uh, yeah, I don't have much money. There we go. But yeah, we're going to do all that stuff, so went to Subway Town, met everybody. Now we got our first thing to do, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.